Play with passion tonight. Communicate and let's go. I'll be that last one standing. Intercepted. Picked off by Rivas. Yeah, last one standing. Real high standards. Hands up and you know if a job need done and get handy. Feeling like the time right now. Last one standing. I see no one around. I respect you, boy. I respect you too, boy. It's Rivas Island in New York again. That's why he's going to go to Canton. Right I mean, how fun was it to watch the Royal Rebus play? All right, now joining us, the aforementioned Hall of Fame voter Jim Trotter and the Hall of Famer LaDainian Tomlinson and JT, you know, the Royal Rebus one of the best to ever play the cornerback position. First time eligible. Is he, is he in? Is he, first, is he a first ballot guy? Well, I, I would never be so presumptuous as to speak for the other 48 voters, but if I were presenting him, and I'm not, I would simply stand up and say, committee, I present to you Darrell Revis. <laughs> and then I would sit down. <laughs> There's really nothing you need to talk about, in my opinion, about Darrell Revis. There's a reason that there was uh, Revis Island. He stranded a lot of receivers out there. He took away half the field. People say he didn't have as many interceptions as others. That's because quarterbacks were smart enough not to throw right. at him. And <laughs> LT, you were in some of those meetings, game plan meetings for him, as well as being a teammate. Tell me what you heard. Well, in 2007 season, 2008 playoffs, we were playing the New York Jets. And we had heard all year about Darrell Reeves. Now, he was a young player at that time, guys. So there was still some disbelief that he was this good, <laughs> right? We had Vincent Jackson, the late Vincent Jackson. Right. You know, we had some guy, Malcolm Floyd, big, tall, 6'5 guy that can run. We certainly thought there is no way, you know, that he's going to be able to shut down our guys. We have a prolific passing attack. Guys, halfway through the game, the playoff game, those guys weren't catching passes on Darrell Rivas. And I just kept looking out there like, what's going on? Like, why are they not getting open? That's when I became a believer. Fast forward three years, I became a teammate. So my locker room was right next to Darrell Rivas. The expectations that we put on that man at that time to cover the best wide receivers, to basically have him play one-on-one -on -one and, and Rex Ryan defense play, you know, coverage and everything else, Think about how he was able to get up for all these different types of receivers every week and perform at that level. That is very difficult to do, and he did it for so long. There is no question, Jim, he has to be a first ballot Hall of Famer. He did it for several teams. He's a Hall of Famer when it comes to making contracts. And, you know, <laughs> look, and Rex Ryan said it. When Darrell Revis played, it was 10 on 10 because yeah. Revis would put people on his island Think about this, 95 passes defensed in his first five seasons. Mm. To this day, that is still a record since that stat has been tracked mm. since 1991.